Hey everybody, Tails here. Um, here's another uh, video game haul video for you today. Um, starting off is a game that I thought was sealed, but it actually isn't. Um, I found Mass Effect 3. I thought it was brand new. Um, I probably should have looked more at like the like just the like just how the game was, and I didn't realize this like until uh this like until I got home. It has a pre-owned Best Buy sticker. I forgot that Best Buy has like their I think you used to, uh, you, you could originally, like, trade your games in for, like, cash or a Best Buy, like, gift card or something like that, but, yeah, this is not actually a brand new game, so I'm gonna be turning that at Bull Moose, uh, tomorrow, because it is nighttime at the moment. Alright, now for the, uh, games, um, these, uh, I'll be keeping, I did find a few games from my Etsy shop, I already listed them, um, uh, there was a sealed, uh, Scarlet Nexus. Um, I do have a couple other uh, like games that I found at Savers, um, but they're nothing super valuable. I did have a copy of Smash uh, Brothers for Wii U, but the case was all beaten up, so I'm not gonna sell that one. But I did find this, um, a Mario Odyssey uh, Switch case. Uh, it was seven bucks, which I felt like is a bit much, but um, it had um, it has the um, it has the little pouch and everything. It has the uh, little cartridge holder it came with and it also has a uh, one of these little things for an SD card I thought that was pretty cool I mean seven bucks is a bit much for this it could use a clean I should have cleaned this like after I got it and I also got a bunch of like cheap games where I already traded them uh, for other games that I'll be showing you later in this video um, this is just random but this is a, a, a Snoopy uh, Snoopy's house it's a bottle opener I thought it was cute got that today um, I got two Vita games, um, two Kaiden, uh, The Age of Demons, and two Kaiden 2. There's also another two Kaiden game on the Vita, but I do not have it. Um, this is the first one in the series, this is the sequel. There's also another one, which is before the second, uh, game. But yeah, um, I knew, I heard these games are pretty good. I've been trying out the PS4 version, uh, last night, and it's actually pretty good, so, yeah. It has, uh, both the games and everything. So yeah, um, I'm, I, I usually show Vita games, um, or I mean, I'm still going to show Vita games in my, uh, Vita game haul videos, um, I'm still doing my PS Vita game hunting, like, challenge thing, where I just try to find as many Vita games as possible, and maybe try to go for a complete collection, if I ever, like, find every single one of them. I know there's a bunch of limited run games, but, you know. Alright, next up is the only 3DS game I got, and that is, um, Etrian Odyssey Untold, uh, the Millennium Girl, which... I've never heard this game. Uh, it goes for around $56. Um, it does not have the manual, unfortunately, but I mean, I still thought 34 was okay with it. I got that at Bull Moose, uh, traded a bunch of like DVDs and junk for this. Um, I have a couple of 3DS games that I have on hold. Uh, like two of them are Shimigami games, um, which I'm definitely saving up for those. But yeah, uh, Etrian, Etrian Odyssey Untold. Um, definitely, I'm definitely going to try this game out. And it is an Atlas published title, so. Definitely want to pick up some of the Atlas games before they go up in value. Uh, this is a Blu-ray movie, but The Cat Returns. Had it was a good film. Definitely can't can't wait to watch this. Um, here's a game that I would not expect to find. I got this off the GameStop website, along with two. Um, I did get Disgaea 6 Complete. It was supposed to be a brand new copy. At least that's what they said it was going to be. But it has those clear GameStop stickers that I hate. I remember getting a brand new copy of Red Dead Redemption 2, and... It had the sticker on it, and uh, my copy of Red Dead Redemption 2 still has that annoying sticker on it, um, which is annoying because it's one of those two-disc games. But, uh, Disc Guy 6, um, I, it was uh, cheaper than, like, what they sold it in most stores on the GameStop website. It was on clearance, so I thought I'd pick it up before, like, they run out of copies. And here's a game that I did not expect to find. I, in fact, never knew that there was a uh, copy, or a version of... Uh, physical version of this game. I have a digital, but I do not have a physical. That is Moss VR. They're releasing uh, the sequel, um, at least the PSVR 2 version, um, soon. But yeah, a physical copy of Moss. I never knew there was a copy of Moss, uh, like, physically. I remember seeing a video from Phoenix Resale that he found this game, and once I saw it, I was like, huh, there's a physical release for this game? But yeah. Um... I think it only came with, like, one PSVR bundle, and that was, like, the only way you could get it. But, yeah, this is, um, a pretty hard-to-find, like, PS4 game. I have never seen 
uh, a copy anywhere. Like, I've been trying to look for this game myself. I've tried Bull Moose, I've tried Core Gaming, and I just saw this one day on the GameStop website, and I just had to pick it up. I mean, 40 bucks is not that bad for a, a, Vita, or a PS4 game that you don't see every day. Alright, so yeah, those are the only games I got, unfortunately. Um, everything else is just, like, books and such. Oh yeah, this came with my uh, GameStop thing. I don't need that. Um, I did get a few Sonic the Hedgehog comic books. Um, I got Volume 4. Um, I already have Volume 5, but I'm actually going to sell some my Etsy. I got that off of Amazon. And here's Volume 6. So, Volume 4 and 6 are now in the collection. I uh, did get these... Uh, oh, as I dropped some of them. I did get these... Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog comic books at a uh, book sale uh, like that was going on so I thought I'd like see if I can get the rest of them and uh, yeah I don't usually show books but I mean I just thought it was cool here's a Sonic the Hedgehog comic book uh, calendar thought that was really cool it's basically just a little flip book of uh, like uh, pictures of the Sonic the Hedgehog comic books over the years and yeah I just thought it was really cool so yeah you can see for each day I mean, is that cool or what? And I think I got it for eight bucks. It was from the uh, the Go Calendar place that always has their calendars discounted, like uh, after the holidays. Here's two manga books that I did not expect to find: Children of the Whales, uh, Volume Ten and Eleven. I don't have the others, but good to have at least a couple of them. And everything else is just like plushies and such that I got today. Pikachu Christmas plushie, I got it for eight bucks. A Pichu plush, which did not have a price tag, and I ended up getting it for three bucks. Snoopy plushie, I've got a million of these, um, but it was $4.99 on clearance. Another Christmas plushie, a Charmander, which I actually really like this one. It was also 8 bucks. I didn't uh, pay anything for this, but it was just part of a uh, Hallmark uh, Mario uh, Christmas ornament. Um, one of these little uh, Mario Lego sets that was 7 bucks. Um, here's Tom Nook, I didn't get that at Kohl's, I got it um, at uh, JCPenney, I believe. A Sonic the Hedgehog uh, t-shirt. And these uh, Muppet Lego blind bags. I got four of them. I don't know what characters I got, but I'm going to open these in another video. And yeah, that's everything that I got uh, for today. Um, I might get some more games tomorrow, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.